What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Phil. And today, I'm actually heading to someone's home to help them uninstall their air suspension. So I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory on as to why I'm going to go do this and why I'm helping this person. So if a lot of you, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you would know this. So if you're not following me, go follow your boy right now, all right? I need you guys to be on my Instagram too. Um, basically, I've been posting a lot of my like things that I don't need or things that I don't want anymore for sale on my Instagram stories. And this person was one of the people that had bought stuff from me, so we met up. Uh, he got the uh, he got the polisher from me, it's a buffer or whatever that I got from Alice Adams Polishes um, like maybe two years ago that I never used. So then we met up and he was explaining to me about his air suspension setup and like how he's not rocking with it and like blah blah blah. So um, I had asked him like you know how much would he sell it for or whatever whatever. So then you know um, he hits me back up later that day and was like bro if you come and help me take the, the air suspension off and uh, just help me put the coilovers back on, I'll give you the air ride. So, you know, I'm still on the fence about if I still want to go uh, with air suspension or not, but I do think the air ride, you know, me getting free air ride isn't a bad, you know, deal. So that's what I'm about to go do today. I'm um, about to go help him uninstall it. Hopefully I'm able to get everything done today. Um, but if not, you know, that's why I'm gonna go to where he is and not let him come to my garage because I can't have his car backed up in my shit for too long because I need my car to be stored. Um, so we're gonna go get that done and then your boy will have air suspension. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the air suspension or what, but we're gonna see with how everything goes or how the actual uh, air suspension itself looks because I know it's Air Force suspension. They were known from like back in the day. I remember when I had my Civic, a couple of the Civic guys had it. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it's a good brand. I just want to make sure there's no rips or anything in it or, you know, whatever. So we're going to find out when we get there. All right, guys. So I've been here for like an hour getting this coilover install done for the K-Tuned. We had a small little hiccup. We put the front, I mean, we put the rear on the front and I couldn't understand why the car was so slammed. And now we figured it out. So I swapped everything over. Now I'm working on the rear end of the car. So these right here are the Air Force suspension. It looks pretty good, no rips in the bags. Um, I need to figure out, you know, what lines and stuff I need to get to make this work. And then we'll be aired out again. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of the steps that I'm doing to get this out of here. The fronts was pretty simple. Um, once we got past the little part of like getting the wrong uh, coilover in there. But right now, from what I've been noticing, we only need a 14 mil, a 17 mil, and uh, that's pretty much it in the 19 to take off the wheel. So that's pretty much it for it for now. Uh, I've been using my impact gun. And yeah, it's not that hard from what I've seen. Um, now I'm just gonna finish the rear. We already did the front end. So he's going back coils. He actually bought the car bag, so he gave me the option of being able to take the air suspension, so I did. I had to step away real quick because I forgot that I had someone coming for one of the RSX wheels that I have. Because I have two base model wheels that uh, came with the jump car that I had bought. So someone's finally coming for one of the wheels today and I forgot. So I'm about to head back to my house real quick to go sell this shit and come back and then, you know, do what we got to do. Sheesh, that boy's back static now. We finished it, didn't take long to take it all off, put it back together, remove all the lines, it took like a, maybe, maybe like three hours. But it's all done, cleared out the trunk. You guys see it, the trunk is all cleared out. All this wiring here is just his amplifier stuff. And then I'm gonna take the tank, he's gonna put his sub back in there. That was the old management, I might keep the power wire just in case if I need an extra one. And then that's pretty much it. Coilover install for this car is complete.
type R. Ooh. Damn, the two-tone. Got the EFs out here too. SDK boys. Damn, now you should have brought your SDK. Because I'm pretty sure Will is not coming. Because he would have been here already. What is good, y'all? So it's the next day. Um, obviously, you know what I mean? I didn't really film much of the... Uh, of the uh, like install of the coilovers because like personally I don't really like filming in other people's like home and space because that's kind of like intrusion of their privacy but um, car is good everything's off I have the air suspension now so today we're actually heading to a car meet I heard it's pretty packed already so yeah, I mean should be a good turnout we just left the car wash and um, yeah I didn't wash my car because honestly there's no point and plus I washed it the other day, you guys, if you guys remember, I washed it the other day. And it's still pretty clean, so i uh, gonna bring you guys with me to this car meet today. It's been a lot of like car meet stuff going on lately, so I've just been trying to like go out and get content for that. But um, I'm trying to get a little bit more consistent with uploading my videos and like putting out, you know, dope content for you guys. Because I'm really trying to hit my goal for 50k this year i mean if i don't then it's cool but it's always good to set a goal for myself you know it makes me feel motivated to do certain things but um s2k man is driving good it's feeling good i still didn't get the uh the uh, o2 sensor fixed yet my boy actually who's driving behind me has a red s2k he actually brought a test pipe um here with him so i'm gonna check it out and see you know if i can figure out the brand and if it has the cell fix on it because if it has the cell fix on it then that makes it easier for me and then all I gotta do is plug the whole two sensor in. Bomb bomb and then we're good. Damn, shit's already packed like crazy. Eighth gen. Sheesh. This color is so nice. I feel like I keep uh, opening the vlog in the car, but um. In two miles, keep right onto I-280 East toward Route 21. Okay, but um, I was on Facebook, no Instagram, and I seen that it's this junkyard in Newark that has like seven S2000s, and it's the same junkyard that I went to um, where I found the roll cage for the S2K. If you guys remember, you gotta go back a little bit on the vids, but um. They got a bunch of like S2000s and it seems like they bought one of my boys uh, S2Ks and I don't know if they're gonna part it out or if they're just gonna uh, you know put a motor in it and sell it. So I'm about to go there today to go check and see if they're gonna part it out or you know are they just trying to like they bought it to like make another flip I guess I don't know. But they're known for buying S2Ks and then parting them out so I kind of want to be the first person to get some dibs before everyone else tries to like scavenge over there. Um, it does have some like dope wheels on it and stuff like that because I actually asked him for the wheels before he sold the car. I didn't know he sold it to these guys. So I'm going to see if they're going to sell the wheels or maybe like some other little small things. Alright so I was able to get the little rubber seal that I needed for the uh, S2000. I didn't get to really record anything in there because they don't really want people like showing video of whatever they're you know got going on back there. I'm actually pretty cool with the uh, one of the workers there and he was just letting me know. So the S2K that I actually came to come see is already like called for, man. Like everybody already jumped on all the parts. Like the Rega Masters that's on there is taken and um, what else is taken? The spoon calipers is taken. Um, somebody wants to buy the body kit off of it. Um, and like a couple of the little stuff, but the owner of the actual like um, junkyard, he's going on vacation for three weeks. So I have to wait until he comes back to know exactly what I could take from the car or whatever. So I'm thinking about getting the full cage that it, ha it has. It's the Cusco cage. I'm thinking about just taking that off of him. And then what else? That's pretty much it. Like there's not really much else that I want. Cause I don't, like I said, I'm still undecisive about if I want to do another kit on the car or not, but we're gonna see. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys right here while I'm pulling up. 
that's the s2000 right there you guys seen him in a couple of my videos before so yeah hopefully i'll be able to get some parts off of it at least i was able to get um the uh rubber seal for free like they just gave it to me so that's what's up cool thing about this little underpass right here well not really that cool but something that most people don't know they do a lot of the takeovers under here so sometimes you'll occasionally see a gate down like over there there's a gate on the floor <laughs> there's a gate on the floor but um yeah they do a lot of takeovers under here so at least with the takeovers like i, I said in a previous video like if you're gonna do it do it somewhere where it's like no traffic it's like no one you know in the way to get hurt so back home from the junkyard and i finally have the little rubber seal that i need for here so that way when the hood closes it leans or presses against this and it doesn't have that weird ass gap i also went to a, a speed shop in the area um to pick up a drain plug oil drain plug bolt because the one that i bought from autozone i don't know man it seems like it's just been leaking a lot not really a, it's not leaking a lot but it's still it's like oil is still coming out of it so what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna get one i went and got a better one and i'm just gonna use that so these ones actually collect metal from out the oil so i'll show you that after i finish putting this rubber gasket on nice all right, so now when you close the hood or the bonnet for my Jamaicans watching, it's gonna lay nice and flat and then this will no longer have that gap that it had before. All right, so this is the Skunk 2 drain plug. It actually came with two, a shorter one, like a shorter length and a longer length. So I'm just gonna use a longer length with the washer and everything. This way collects all the like metals or anything like that that does not belong in the oil. It will collect it up. So, install this, and then that'll be the end of the video. So this was one of the test pipes that uh, my boy gave me. I feel like this is a 70 mil. I was kind of looking for um, 60 or 63. There's also another person that contacted me on Instagram trying to give me their uh, test pipe. So I might go with that one because that one I'm pretty sure will come with the uh, gaskets and all that stuff. But for now, I mean, if anyone's interested in it, just let me know. Um, I'll let it go for cheap. But um, I just finished topping off the oil, put the drain plug in there. I mean, I didn't bother showing it to you guys because it was like, you know, a 17 mil bolt. Put the new bolt in and then voila. And I just topped off the oil to make sure the oil was good. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also still have this bumper for sale if anybody wants it. Um, it's not cracked, it's just chipped. I don't know what bumper it is. It almost looks like, like the Jay's Racing one. So if you're interested in it, let me know. I'll definitely sell it to you for the low. Um, what else? And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these carbon fenders. Um, if I'm gonna keep them or if I'll sell it. You know what I mean? Like someone could obviously fix them and make it work. And I still have this one wheel left. Also have this valve cover. I'm debating if I wanna sell it or if I wanna keep it. Just trying to use the little bit of extra coins that I got so that way I could, um, you know, start putting a little bit more money into the car. Nice. See, it's all seamless. The gas gets all the way in there. I might have to move this one over a little bit more. Oh, I can't wait to send this car to get painted. I just want my car to be all one color. 